Hey my frugal friends, Wagwan. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Frugality is life. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Yes, guys, you are seeing me for a second time today because I know what you're saying. Fiona, we like literally saw you drop your frugal Friday video. What are you doing here again? Well, guys, I love you guys. Can't keep away. Well, actually, <laughs> I do love you guys. But also, I got a request from one of you lovely, lovely supporters to make a halloween box now if you're new here or if you've been around here you know i am not a huge fan of halloween however i cannot lie that back in the day i absolutely loved these books goosebumps and i used to love a lot of horror movies i'm toning it down now i'm not watching too many of them but i absolutely love like goosebumps was my favorite 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 growing up i read all the books and now these are not the original guys these are some that i found at walmart they were on sale like in this tin i guess it was like a special that they were doing so these are these are some of them but trust me when i say back in jamaica i have i'm not sure if i have all of them but i have most of them so guys, I absolutely loved this. And as you can see, I have this nice and squared away. If you know about Goosebumps, let me know below. If these were some of the books you were reading back in the day, let me know. I absolutely loved this book. I would get my money um, for my lunch and I would, save, I would save every dollar when I know I could get a new book you know one of these goosebumps books so i absolutely love 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 these books so i saw this at walmart a couple years ago i think and i had i just absolutely had to grab it just for like keepsake <laughs> like i have the as i said these books should be back home in jamaica um at my mom's house like but i have absolutely had to grab this love 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 this book love so many love so with this as my with this as my muse i decided to create the box so what you will see is you will see or you will get if you are interested i'm gonna list it i decided to make um i decided to make it a good versus evil or bad saving challenge box and it says let's play and you'll see why i it says let's let's play but i absolutely love how this turned out so you get the dashboard and then you get the table of contents so you can see why i say this was my muse like you can see i kind of use <laughs> the dripping paint or whatever it is maybe it's not paint i don't know but anyways, I use that as my muse. And so you'll have the contents, which you'll see is section one to six. And there are two bonus sections. Only two, only two. As I said, you know, Halloween isn't my thing. And like these type of thing isn't my thing. But creativity compelled me to do it. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of see what I could create. So you have sections one to six. And, it, and then you have two bonus sections. So this will allow you to use a D8. So it's an eight-sided dice, guys. Eight-sided dice, okay? So you'll get that. So section one, and you will see that this is a little bit different because section one is actually a game. So this game is like a uh, play of snakes and ladder. I thought it was super appropriate when I said bad habits. Habits, get it? Bits. <laughs> so those are the snakes. And this you play over and over and over you don't need you don't have to mark off anything if you don't want to you you can do three rounds and then start all over again so what you'll do is you'll get a, a six-sided dice which is this and so each ladder has one two three four five and i'm saying you count this last one to so make six so you roll and you get six so you will have to say six times two so you'll save twelve dollars and then you'll put your $12 in the envelope and keep it moving. And when you want to come back and play again, same thing. You roll if you got two. So you go one, two, the snake. So snake bites are $10. So you pay $10. Um, also, if you when you roll, you get a odd number. You add an extra $5. So when you roll, if you get even, you multiply by. You just multiply by what's in there. That's in the area there. If you get an odd number... 
like say for example i got one one i go one here so one times two is two and then i have to add five so i would save seven dollars so even number i just multiply by what's inside there and save so i'll be six times what's inside and then odd numbers like five i would i would go say one two three four five so this is five times four that's 20 and then i still need to add five for odd so that's 25 so you can save a lot but this is just my way of like explaining the game but you can play however you want okay so when you get bit by the snake meaning if you land where there is a mouth so let me show you what where the head of the snake is if you land on any of these sec uh where the mouth is then you pay ten dollars so as I said, you just roll six and you go over and over again to play this game. And I think it's absolutely fun, just way to be to have fun and like to save more and more money. So that's this one. Um, the other one is this one here, section two. And section two says choices, choices. And remember, this is about good versus evil or bad. So choices, choices. So it says roll a dice to decide the roll and then roll again for the money to save. So you roll, uh, you roll a six-sided die. So bam, three. So I'll go to three and then I'll roll again, one. So it means I'll save 20. And that means, so I have on the side here, so you have a witch, you have uh, like kids sharing. Then you have a ghost. Then you have like two bunnies in love. Then number five, you have like a nice cute baby. Number six, you have like this evil house, <laughs> right? So as I said, good versus bad or evil. So there is a mixture of both type thing on here. So this will allow you to save like $245 if you mark each one off as you go and you save. So cute. So fun. Absolutely love that. Um, and so then you have section three. And section three says, let's run the race. I dare you. I dare you to run this race and save this money, guys. So you're starting all the way from down here. The the uh, blue spots are like angel spots. So they're blue. They have their little halo. And then the red spots are the more evil spots or bad spots. So with the first one here, you can see that like, there is a, a house, but it has a big eye in it. Like this one is a skull. This one is like a haunted house. This one is a witch, a crow, different things, right? For those ones. So you roll and you just make your way up to the finish line so you start here and make your way up to the finish line so number one i would only save one if i roll one again one oh god so one again i would have to go to 15 because i'm moving up the the row four you go four from here one two three four and then you can start all over to get every single one if you want or you can only go and save the blue spots or you can go and fill, save the red spots up to you but it says let's run the race i dare you i dare you I absolutely love that okay so then number four says let's roll and this is again remember theme of this whole saving challenge is good versus evil or bad and so this is a plinko version so you know how you play plinko uh but when you land on the heart with a halo and the wings you add a dollar extra as you go down and when you uh land on the grim reaper you add two dollars right so if we were to play we will say we have this as or um little token moving across and we'll go three so we go on three two we go on two four we go on four five we go on five wait i'm missing all of them one i'm missing all of them that's so neat and then two i missed all of them guys so all i would save here is ten dollars which is the little angel baby here okay so you know how you play and you go around absolutely love 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 and the inspiration from this came from gb incomes babes for the whole set guys all right so then you have number five and when my client reached out to me to ask me or my my um, supporter reached out to me to ask me to make one of these boxes i immediately directed her to go and see gb uh, she has a beautiful spooky box um but my uh supporter she said she was in canada wanted to support canadian you know type thing and um 
yeah so she asked me to make it so i said all right i'll i'll get the permission from gb i'll just clear it with her because i did you know she's the creator of the spooky box and like all these boxes so you know out of respect i reached out to her and i said hey you know i have a um someone who's interested in uh in me making one of these type of boxes and she's like girl i don't own anything go ahead and do it but you know i just had to say something to her i just felt like I needed to do that okay so sh I got permission guys I got permission all right so number five says the innocent and the bloody I oh I was gonna say the blood thirsty which would be very much appropriate here but it was too long so I just went with the bloody okay so then you so you have the princess you have the coffin you have the dracula <laughs> and you have dracula and his friend drinking blood okay and then you have just people in love kids just having their good time and then the princess just being the princess right so that's this one save you 50 dollars. so super super afford like you know good budget for this one so then section six says the good and the ugly and this you don't need me to say anything more here so you have good you know good peace and love as like the good and then you have the ugly which is like these zombies and this guy that says let's creep it real let's creep it real like dude and then you have this one here with the arm coming through the grave and so this is section six and it was still 55 dollars and then there is what the add-ons are that i mentioned that there are two like bonus sections that will allow you to use your d8 dice for this and this section says be good or else nightmares <laughs> i remember as a kid i don't know like i grew up with like three big brothers and they were always say you know when you you're bad they always say oh you're gonna get in trouble you know usually in jamaica they say the doppy is gonna get you like doppy is ghost in jamaica so there's a lot of uh, folklore as well in Jamaica about this. Like so anyway, so this reminded me of that. So I said biggie good or else nightmares. So these are the things that will come and get you in your nightmares. <laughs> okay, I'm being so silly. <laughs> but this save eighty dollars, guys. So this section <clears throat> you'll see that there are also cards. I have cards, so I'm gonna just, I'll come back to this in a second to explain the cards. And then there is this bookmark because, you know, if you've been here, you know, your girl love bookmarks. So this one is also a part of the set where you go save uh, $45. And this just says, walk in the light. And it says, God is love, share, trust, joy, kind and happy. Because remember, this is good versus bad or evil, right? So that's that. I printed this by error. It was like smaller. I wanted it a little bit larger, the dashboard. So I, I resized it. So you'll get this larger size. And this I'm going to just use for decor. So let me set up my binder quickly. And then let me show you the cards. So first, let's, let's, go, let's quickly go through the cards. And then I'll just set up everything. So you get um, six IOUs. So there's this one with the ghost. So under the haunted house, this one with the witch. So that's three. Then you get this one that says peace, love, and good. And then the nightmare section, which is this section here that I spoke about. Um, there are 12 cards pertaining to the nightmare. So you, the, there's some find icon and save. And then there are these ones. So these ones, there are no icon for these. These are just bonus savings so when you save the money you put it in the same envelope as this that says nightmares that's all it's saying guys so this will say um find the icon and save the amount you do you, you, oh shoot okay this is an error sorry i have to good thing i saw that i need to make an adjustment on this one it shouldn't say find the icon because this icon will not exist i'll make this correction um it's just that you are just saving um, what it says so for example so this is an error so I'm gonna say that out because I'm gonna have to adjust that on um, yeah I'm gonna have to adjust that so let me I'll, I'll, I'll do that so anyway so in, it, none of these should say find the icon because this doesn't exist so it says double your last card um, and then triple your last card and double your last card and like roll same with this one um, you're just going to put it into the nightmare section like as an extra savings um, and then you have cards that will take you to like the 
this this one this saving challenge so this is walking lights of these when you use them you put them back into the deck so you can go to this over and over again until you complete this section so there are only two so you're going to put them back in the deck and then for go to all of these i says go to i try to put the section on here so it's a go to go to let's roll so section four so you will look for section four and then you go and you play a game and then you put back this card in the deck same for this one go to habits bad habits you do the same put it back in the deck these you just find and save find and save double your double the icon amount and then this one and then you have go any one that says go go to this section put them back in the card same in the deck go to choices put them back Go to bad habits, you're putting them back. Go to let's run the race, you put them back in the deck. So, uh, okay, I found one error. I double checked everything and that, that missed me. So, um, I'm going to go on and correct that one. And um, for me, I'm just going to mark it out and put something. But for you on Etsy, you will have the correct thing. Uh, but I'm going to, I'll do that right now, as soon as I'm done here. Um, all right, so let's set this up and see how it would do in a binder. So I have a binder right here, and I am rushing because I'm doing on my lunch break. I have a binder right here. I got these placeholders here from Tara. Um, I'll put her channel name across the screen. But let's see how this would look when I set it up. So first and foremost, I'm going to put this here because this was like a misprint. So that will just become a decor. Uh, and then I will throw, make sure you're seeing, I will throw, oops, what's this? I will throw the dashboard in. So dashboard goes in. Um, then the sections goes in. Where is that? Let me just pick these up quickly. And then this section, let me just put my... So the sections goes in to tell you the different sections. And then I want to put this right after. I remember this, you have to put an envelope for your savings. Or you can put it in another envelope anyway, that's fine. And then section two, where is it? Section two goes in here. And then section three goes in here. I think this came out cool. Very cute. <laughs> uh, oh no, section one didn't go. All right. I think I should put them back to back actually, because then I ran out of envelopes. All right, let's see. So you have the dashboard, and then you have this section. This one will go into this, and then I think I wanna put these. This will help me save on envelopes because yeah, I had to like dig through everything to find these envelopes, guys. I don't have any available envelopes. And then that goes there. Perfect, perfect. And I think for now I'm gonna keep the cards in this envelope that also came with these from Tara. Thank you, Tara. For the love of budgeting her channel name is for the love of budgeting so tara's channel is for the love of budgeting she sent me this in a happy mail love 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 with these perfect so i'm just gonna kind of leave these here so they are together for now and then i'm gonna try to do like a true tutorial where i save the money but this was just to introduce the box guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you guys watch horror movies on Friday the 13th, enjoy. Otherwise, enjoy your weekend and see you guys soon. Bye.